What's up, everybody? My name is Coalfire, and welcome to Elder Vale. This is a solo dev project and the demo of an upcoming old school survival horror game. Uh, the itch page said this takes you through the first chapter, and the only other video I saw on it uh, was about 45 minutes long, so it, it looks like there's a pretty substantial amount of content here. But, but from the itch page, I couldn't really tell what kind of survival horror game it was, and it has me curious. So what do you say we just dive in? Oh, my name is Ophelia Delaney. I was born in a quiet little town called Alder Stowe. My family used to own a large estate there, the Delaney Institution. They took care of children that were... different. Deviants, the town folk called them. But my parents helped make them feel safe and comfortable in our boarding school. When I was seven, I got affected by an unknown illness. The doctors tried everything, but I didn't think... but didn't think I would live. My parents were contacted by a wealthy stranger who said to have money and resources to cure me. He asked to be the headmaster of the institution in return. Children started disappearing. The whole town was looking for them. One day, the police showed up. They said my father had something to do with the case. I had to move to another town to live with my aunt. I haven't heard from my parents since. Ten years have passed, and I still can't shake the feeling that something terrible happened there. And I was a part of it. Okay, cool, that was actually a pretty good introduction. So, uh, let's see. We just waking up in here? Okay. Why do I have a cursor? I would assume that would be... Yeah, there we go, for the camera. Okay. We have a little sprint. How do I look at things? Oh. Oh. Someone lost the key to the staff entrance, so we have to use the spare one Dr. Clark has. If you find him in his office with that odd on antique clock. Oh, nice. I got a map. Do I hit M? Ooh. All right. Oh. What the fuck was that? Was that just like a loading screen, or was that just there to spoop me? Come back here? N nada. Okay, this... This has some atmosphere. I'll give it that right away. Hello? Anybody in here? Also, what do I look like? Oh, okay. Interesting. Note... Dr. Clark, we regret to inform you that we had to move the antique clock to make way for the digital one as requested by the new leadership. We know how much you like the old one. You can still find it in classroom 102. So, ooh, can I have the candle? Or is that just some, like, funky aliasing on the edges there? Clock? Oh, this is a puzzle. All right. Uh... 102? No. Okay. Worth a try. Man. There's something there. I see feet moving. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Also, do I have a light? 101. 101. Why are none of these 102? Oh, can I light the candles? Ah. 102. Men's restroom. Door is locked from the other side. Fuckers. Okay, so... Oh, I was kind of hoping the bathroom would lead over to the other side. But nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Any deliciousness hidden around here? Mirror's too filthy to see any reflections. <laughs> Clever, clever, clever. Uh, oh, nice! This one is... This actually does blow open to the other side. And we've got a toggleable crouch. 
What is with the red light in here? Somebody think that's a good idea? I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. There's just hands sticking out of the toilet. What the hell? Looks like a person was crushed into the toilet bowl. Uh, this cannot be real. Oh, darling. It most certainly is. So the only thing I worry about at this point is that, uh, the game is gonna do jump scares. And I really hope it doesn't. Because this is some pretty awesome atmosphere so far. Oh nice, it's the grandfather clock. So this is 11.55? Anything good over here? No. Time is key. Old times become new again. Hey there, friendo. How are you? Hold on, I want to look at the character model again. Or Dev, if you end up watching this, did you make these in views? So they, they look pretty good. I like them. They're stylized, but... Uh, I, I think that kind of fits. Okay, and we come back down here and we give it 11.55? No? Is that supposed to do something? Okay, let's go look at the clock again. So it looks like the hour hand is almost at 12, but it could be swapped. It said time is key. Can I talk to you, man? This doesn't make any sense. I must be dreaming. I have to find him and get out of here? So you ended up here too, have you? Do you know me? We met when you were a child. On that day, when everything went wrong. Who are you? I'm Daniel. Daniel Caulfield. Listen, you have to be very careful. I followed a dangerous man here. I almost got him. But he stole my gun and ran off. Can you tell me what's going on in this house? After they took control from your family, who knows what went down here. I'm sorry. I'll tell you what I know, but I have to find my son first. I found documents proving he was kept here. I haven't seen him in years. Please, you must help me find him. He's just a little boy. I'll do what I can. I'm here to find out what happened to my parents. And this house. I need to remember. Well then, let's hope we can help each other. Take care. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, so it says time is key. And that's definitely 11.55. Because the hour hand is uh, just past 11. And the minute hand is on the 11 which is 55. So... I don't know... Because that's the only thing we've seen to interact with, right? Oh. Oh, man. Okay. That spooked me a little bit. Picked up a token. What are tokens for? No? Hello? Okay, let's try this room too. Nice! All these rooms can be opened. That's awesome. Head of Delaney Institution shot dead. A police officer had to fire a shot, which was later proven to be lethal, when 
owner of the renowned Delaney Institution was unable to cooperate with the arriving police officer, Daniel Caulfield, and his partner. Even after repeated warning shots, the suspect was armed and delirious, a threat to those around him. That's, that's him, Daniel Caulfield. Okay. Wait, but our parents weren't in charge of the institution when that went down. That was the new headmaster, right? So that wasn't our dad that got killed. I don't think. Okay, so we made a big circle back. I'm assuming this is like a key card or something. Door is locked, you need a key. Yep. Nice, and I'm guessing this is what the place looked looks like from the outside. The house as I remember it from my childhood. Door is locked from the other side. Today's special, we don't have any. Cafeteria. Also locked. Check the map again. Oh, so shit. Uh, opening the map doesn't pause the game. So, I want to try the damn clock again. Because it looks like there's another room behind that wall. And considering that the, the molding ends right there, I definitely think this wall opens. So, yeah, 11.55... Unless I go, like, 2355. Yeah. I'll just get in here and turn that shit on. Come on. Please? Why you no know light? Light for me, damn you! It's too dark in here. Por que no? Oh, hi there, bud. How are you doing? Look like you've had a rough day. I'm just gonna grab this, if you don't mind. And I will be out of your way. Bye, friend. Can I close this? And just put it away? No? All right, well, I uh, honestly bet that's a little bit stinky. Just a little bit. I can imagine that puzzle, especially for uh, people that don't use 24-hour time, being a little frustrating. Because I don't use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, at least I thought of it. Uh, nothing to use with the computer. Token? Yeah, what are these tokens for? Bobby pin. Matchstick. Oh, can I... Do I have an inventory? Oh, shit. Okay. Uh... QE. Okay. Yeah, kind of Resident Evil style health bar there, too. Map. I got some keys. I got a blue key, which I used to come in here. And it doesn't look like these guys open. Uh, books? No? Alright. Well. Kitchen. Anything going down in there? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Fridge. Freezer. Picked up frozen meat? What do I need that for? Am I gonna have to lure some creepy critter? Why does it feel like I'm gonna have to lure some creepy critter? I tend to prefer no creepy critters. You know, just the creepy people, creepy peepees. Motherfucker. That was pretty well done. I'll give the game that. That uh, that didn't feel like a jump scare, but it definitely uh, puts you on edge. And I think the only difference between that and a jump scare 
would have been uh, some shitty sound effect. And it, the game held it. Uh, it was locked. It was definitely a little more reserved than a lot of other games that I see, and that's really cool. Oh, now we're outside. Okay, another token? Are, are the tokens just collectibles for the sake of collectibles? Old missing posters. Why would these be here after all these years? Okay, this is just open. Oh! What's up, pupper? Um... Must be thawed? Can I combine this and this? No. As I can see, the dog is what I need to give the meat to. But is there just like a, a microwave sitting around here somewhere that I can use, or... I don't know. Or a heater, maybe? Okay, so we've opened up a pretty good portion of this floor. But I noticed that... This... Had a door over here? Okay, it's locked. So let's try going upstairs. Up, up, and away we go. Okay, we don't have a map for this floor yet. Oh, thank you for lighting. Oh, I need matches to light them. I get it. That's why that one earlier didn't light. Because I didn't have a match for it. Okay. So are all these locked up here? No. We have a way in. That looks like it can be moved back, but... Match? That's a big-ass match. Okay. So can I move this? Can I crouch underneath this? Uh-uh. And I can't jump either. So I think this room's just a dead end. Yeah. Alright. So, do I need, like, a match and the oven to thaw the meat? Let's see if there's anything else I can do in the kitchen. Oh, that's not where I went, meant to go in. Hot water, maybe? No. Microwave. I hear it again. That stupid dog. It's not my job to feed every kid's pet that ends up here, but it just won't stop barking. It's getting more aggressive. There's a meat chop in the freezer, but no way I'm wasting it on some animal. Maybe I should take things into my own hands and put it down. That kid won't need pets anymore anyway. Fuck, dude. Nice! Oh, and she's even got, like, a little waiting animation. Nice touch. Picked up warm meat. Oh, and it was all squishy and gross. Okay, mm let's go feed Big Doggo. Doggo, I have a treaty treat for you. Bye, bud. Doggo. There's a key near the dog, looks angry, better try to calm it somehow. So do I actually need to, like, use this? How do I, how do I use an item? Oh, do I just use the, yeah, there we go, food bowl. You don't look very dog-like, dog. You also have an arm. 
Okay, little chupacabra, whatever the fuck you are, I'm going to leave you be. Door shut tight. Okay, so what is this key for then? Uh, does that show on our map? No. Okay. Oh, that's where we are. Okay. Maybe we should try the other... Wait, where does this door lead then? It doesn't look like it's on the map. It would be on the top side of the area where the dog is. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Yeah, wouldn't it? Weird. Yeah, let's try this door. Door unlocked! Cool, now we can get into the, like, back area. What is going on in here? Something red over there. Ooh. You don't look nice. You look like the kind of thing that I most certainly want to run away from. Oh fuck, are you coming this way? No. Okay. So if I just stay doing the sneaky snakes... We okay? Maybe if I stay on the carpet? Wait, did you see me? You're looking right at me. Oh yeah, you see me. What is this? Anxiety pills? Token? Is there something in here? Or have I fucked myself? No. Okay. <laughs> You're not that big of a threat. Oh, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, slow and steady, eh? What the? Is that in here, or is that is that in there? What the fuck? I got three matches. I'm cool with that. Okay, where are we? Okay, we just left the big room, right? Right? Oh no, we're up on the top right. Okay. What is going on in here? Okay. There's a door here. Oh, shit! God damn, it's dark in here. Okay, you're still right there. Oh, no, 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 not sure what those are. Fuck me! Ow. Ow. Get out of my way, you bitch! Okay, let's get our ass out of here. So is this bitch just following me? Like, can I come up here now? It's locked from the other side. Let me, let me check map real quick. Okay, yeah, so there is a door on that side. So if I come back in here, are you just going to be waiting for- Oh, yep. Cunt. Okay, so we're low on health, but the door should be on that wall, right? Oh, it's right there. I was right next to it. God damn it. The police arrived at the scene, investigating an anonymous phone call they received earlier. The unknown caller- uh, caller's accusations were horrific, including the drugging and torture of children and adults living in the Delaney house. When the police tried to put the suspect under custody, he resisted and threatened to open fire. So I'm guessing that's the... the reason the police showed up and ended up killing him in the first place. 
Okay. So, with this film grain, I guess just the darkness in general, really hard to see right now and not having a flashlight or anything. I'll probably end up turning up the brightness a little bit, uh, just so it's easier to see. Just for the video's sake. Okay, token, unlock door, and flashlight? Oh, hell yes. Cool, so it's kind of difficult to use, but that's fine. Okay, okay, this is the other side. Whoa. Hey there, bud. Okay, so now that we have this, I kind of want to take a look around this room. Oh, is this the other side of the, the room that I lit up earlier? Maybe. Not sure. Okay, down we go then. God damn, it's dark. Even with the flashlight. Okay, that's not a happy sound. Hey there, doorway. Please be open. Oh shit. Whoa. Okay, so the wall's just like broken open. Fuck, dude, it's really hard to see in here. I guess that's kind of the whole idea behind an atmospheric survival horror game, but... Fuck. What the fuck are you? What's going on in this place? Uh, notice for new staff members. In case the roll-up door jams again, try to release it by pulling the maintenance switch. If you have trouble finding it, just follow the electricity cable from the door you need to open. Okay. Where is everybody? Why is it always dark outside? Why can't I leave? Okay, so here's the cable. Hello? Any new friends in here? Three matches? Yes, I like matches. They make me happy. Okay, so that's just the, the chain link that we saw earlier. Okay, I want to investigate around here first. Never mind. Man, the basement has a completely different feel to it. Okay, I open this. Door must be operated by a switch somewhere. I open this. I can open this. What the fuck is that? Let's not go find out. Oh, is this where we saw that thing climb up? No, we need we definitely need to go into that other room first. Yeah, in here. Let's go back upstairs. Hold up, where am I? There we go. Yeah, really hoping the game doesn't decide to put enemies in rooms that are this dark. Because that would just be kind of mean. Are you just... Okay. Hold up. I looked behind me because I thought that that was something that was going to disappear. 
And then it started moving at me, and my first thought was, oh, okay, so this is like a hallucination of the hanged guy that I saw earlier. And then it killed me. Okay, all caught up. It would have been nice if there was a save point right before this. But, uh, we have a fuck ton more matches this time. But let's just run this time. Oh shit, okay. There we go. Coolio. So it looks like we survived this round. So what's going on in here? And what is all this shit? Like, do I need to treat it like a remote explosive or a mine or something? Because its placement makes me think that... What? Okay, so they can just... Okay, so I just need to get close to them and then back off. Alright. Saved. This is the instrument of control in the 20th century. Use it now to break bonds and bones and barriers, free yourself from domination. And a melee weapon. Weird. Okay, so now... Block and flashlight are on the same button, and left click is attack. Oh, just making me learn. All right, cool. Where is this? Does my map work on other floors? No. <laughs> Hold up. Inventory. Bottle of anxiety. Okay, restores a small amount of health. All right, cool. And then I saw a coin. There we go. I still don't know what the tokens are for, or if they are for anything. But I think we're supposed to come through here now. Okay, never mind. Uh, how much did that hurt? All righty. Well, one, please. Uh, boop, boop. Did that heal us? Nice, okay. Cool, so that's what the, the health packs are in this game. So where do I need to go now? I'm really not sure. Now that we have a, a melee weapon. Holy shit, it's dark, man. Did we get anything for upstairs? No. No. No, and that one's already open, but we've already been in there. I think I'm going to leave this first episode here. I do really like the game so far. The, the atmosphere is fantastic, and, uh... I'm, I'm really glad the game hasn't been relying on jump scares, because that's always a skepticism that I have coming into a game like this, that it's just gonna be shitty jump scare after shitty jump scare. And while some of the mechanics are a little clunky, especially the flashlight, especially the melee, um, the game has a pretty good feel to it. Uh, it does a fantastic job of making you feel helpless in this situation. Even with this giant bludgeony curmudgeon I have here, I don't feel like I could hold up very well in combat. Um, the only problems that I see so far are I don't know where to find another map, and the game hasn't been fantastic in directing the player. Maybe it's just me letting my curiosity get the better of me and I go wandering off where I shouldn't 
and I miss things because of that, but I really have no idea where I'm supposed to go now. Uh, I'll, I'm definitely going to do another episode on this, probably just a, a two episode, um, just to get it all done and finished to see everything that's going on in it, because I am, I'm pretty curious, and I, I know the story likely isn't going to be resolved by any means since this is just a, a demo for the first episode, but I'm really liking it so far. I'm really liking it. The kind of cartoony character models end up fitting pretty well because the rest of the world, the way it's shaded, ends up feeling a little bit cartoony too, but it all works well together. No one part of it really stands out and be like, Okay, everything else is hyper-realistic, but this one thing just looks kind of awkward, because it's not. It's not the case here. And, um, I'm having a good time with this. The, the, the atmosphere is really getting to me. It is. But this has been Elder Vale. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Coalfire, and I will see you next time.